Boatleaseonly.com. Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV featuring the annual Key West Offshore Poker Run with members of the Florida Power Boat Club. And this is why you come to the Florida Keys. There it is, everybody. The scenic Key Largo. There's the US-1 bridge through the center. Gilbert's down below. A little bit of black water sound on the bottom of your screen. To the right is Lake Surprise and to the background, that's barn sound as the boats now cruise through Jewfish Creek. Down here in that pontoon boat to your right is our new videographer, Bill Ciani. He's operating an RC Phantom drone, and there it is, guys. That's what makes this camera so cool. You remember, we're getting these shots not with a boom, not with a helicopter, but with a little four-bladed DJI Phantom drone with a GoPro camera. And it's giving us the opportunity here as producers to get these kind of shots that make this so much more interesting to watch, and they're safe. It's safely done. There's no helicopter, just a little, uh, about an eight pound helicopter drone with a small GoPro camera. Here's Joel Beijing, came all the way from Quebec, Canada to join us. Take a look at that beautiful outer limits and those big 1350 Mercury Racing twin turbos. All the boats are just getting ready to pull into Gilbert's. That's why they're slowing down. Of course, we always like to go slow through these mangroves as we get ready for the lunch stop. There's another Canadian boat. That's Mark Stoddard from Ontario, Canada, a 50-foot Outer Limits, also powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. Hey, kudos, guys, for wearing those life jackets. Two more teams to introduce uh, in the red boat, that's Patrick Bedard from Canada. And in the orange boat, that's Joe Calvinese from Connecticut. That's a 46-foot skater with big Sterling engines. Everybody's just having a nice slow cruise through Jiffish Creek here. It's uh, part of our safety management program is to come down off plane in these critical areas. And here's Michael Alexander from New York in his 32-foot skater powered by triple mercury outboards. Now here's a really cool boat. This is uh, the 50-foot outer limits called Team My Way. Glenn Salyer from Kentucky. Turbine powered. So let's hope that Bill doesn't get that DJI Phantom too close to those big hot exhaust pipes. Our beautiful day is continuing here in the Florida Keys. You know, mid-November weather, you really couldn't ask for better weather and it's really unseasonably warm too. We're already well into the 80s. Everyone is having a fantastic ride and the winds have died down. This is about as perfect of a day as we could ever ask for. Now let's talk quickly about some of the variety and the uniqueness of these boats. That's a 45 cigarette we just saw. Here's another cigarette, but this is a 42 model powered by Mercury Racing 1350s. A lot of V-bottoms on the run, but also a lot of big cats. And speaking of cats, here's a marine technology that's an MTI 42. It's one of the most popular catamarans in the Florida Powerboat Club. I think we've got 40 of them registered for this run. On your left there, that's a center console from Nortec with quad Mercury Verados. And behind that is another Nortec, but that's a Nortec 50 Super V powered by triple big gas combustion engines, uh, 850 horsepower potter motors. Now here's a good variety of catamarans. On your left, that's a 38 foot skater. Uh, that team, Carl and his gang came all the way from California. And there's a big Mac Daddy mothership, 52 foot MTI team, Black Diamond from Oklahoma, full canopy boat, full air conditioned cabin on board. Another MTI, this one's a 48, we saw it earlier, that's Phantom. It's a customized MTI. You're gonna see a lot of this in the Florida Powerboat Club where owners have designed and created their own statements. It's got the, uh, the white-faced mask of the Phantom of the Opera on the bow, and it has Rolls-Royce interior throughout. Ken Armstrong from Texas, and, and always a fun crew in this boat. And one more quick shot of this really cool 44 MTI with fabulous paint job. Uh, this is James and Audra Bohannon from Texas. It's a 44 MTI with Mercury Racing 1075s. And not a bad looking crew on board today, guys. Gotta tell you. Once again, the Phantom Drone is the way to deliver the best shots. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode of Power Boating in Paradise TV because we do everything we can to give you the best camera angles so you can feel like you're right in the boat 
enjoying the Key West Offshore Poker Run. So we're pretty much wrapping up episode two of a four-part series. It's the first time we brought you four shows to feature the annual Key West Offshore Poker Run, and you can see why it takes four shows to present all this incredible insanity. Look at these boats, all these people from all over the country, all over the world, the most impressive offshore powerboats you're going to find anywhere for seven days of powerboating fun in the Florida Keys. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Powerboating in Paradise TV.